speed. You need to be strong to protect me. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite. Headed into the delusion scape? I will uh, keep watch outside. Yeah.
What are we gonna do? A door. Don't forget to knock first. Wow, that's a pretty surprising encounter. How is this the first time I'm hearing of any of this, though? You were sound asleep. Got me there. So what's the big takeaway? The Freedom Fighters just want to protect Akiba. That's the whole reason they're nullifying delusions. Same as us, then, pretty much. Two teams running around destroying delusions. But if you think about it, the delusions aren't always bad things. How so? Tomi may have been running away from her problems when she created her delusion. But doesn't she need that escape? A world where she can actually be happy? It's the one place where she belongs. Or the one place where she can feel like she belongs anyway. The place where she belongs? Yeah, maybe that's it. You might be right, Mippity. So what? Are we not supposed to nullify it? I can't imagine our absent leader would be thrilled if we didn't. I'm not sure about that. Saki wasn't destroying delusions just for fun. She never wanted to destroy Katomi's world, nor her desires. Hurting Katomi was never part of the plan which is why I think there has to be a way to resolve this without Katomi getting hurt. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I don't want Katomi to get hurt either. Damn it. You're gonna make me look like the bad guy here. Well, what do you suggest we do, Yamato? You're saying we can save the world without breaking a single leg. But there's a reason unhappy endings are so popular nowadays. You're being unrealistic here. Yeah, I probably am. Well, do what you want. It's not like we've got a leader right now anyway, so the decision's yours. Whatever you do, I'll be there. Thanks, Yamato. Then I say, let's go. To protect Katomi. Maybe she went deeper in. No time to slow down and chat. If the Grand Phantasm or boss catches her, she'll 